The Smudge Brush tool allows you to smudge or blur raster content on pixel layers. It is a raster tool, so we can find it in the Pixel Persona on the Tools panel. The Smudge Brush has a lot of great applications. I'm going to use it to create the sunset in my digital painting. If we start smudging, you'll notice that it's quite conservative. So I'll go to the Context toolbar and adjust some of the settings. The two key settings that determine the effect are the flow and the strength. If we increase the flow, the brush effect is applied quicker. The strength defines the distance that the colour is carried, so a higher value will result in a longer smudge. A flow of 50 and a strength of 30 will work well here. By default, it will use a round light brush, but we can actually use any raster brush. I like to use the oils set to add a little bit of texture and inconsistency to make my blends look more natural. As with other brushes, I can use the close brackets to increase the brush size, and then I'll hold the left mouse button and move the colour around as if I'm dragging a paintbrush or my finger through wet paint. It's worth mentioning that as this is a raster tool, it won't work on vector curves and shapes, however they can appear to be smudged. If the smudge brush tool is used on a vector object, Affinity will convert it to a rasterized pixel layer to allow the tool to affect it. So that's it. A quick look at the smudge brush tool. Thanks for watching.